Hey everybody, this is a video for how to build the deltoidal hexacontahedron. Uh, the first thing you need is an icosahedron frame. And I have a video tutorial, so I'll post a link for that. Um, the, dip, the only difference between this one and the one in the tutorial is that this one has an edge length of 12 rather than 13. So you're going to be using uh, stacked rings of 24 rather than 26. But that's the only difference. Also, you need 30 of these pieces here. And the way you make those is by taking two stacked rings of 18 magnets, flattening them out into a long straight piece, which is going to be nine magnets long on the top. And on the underside of it that ends in points, you take a chain and you take out the four magnets in the middle. Just like that. And that's how you get these pieces. And again, you need 30 of them. And so what you do is you take these pieces and you put them right across the uh, center of each of these bars. Just like that. And so now what you want to go ahead and do um, is just do that on all the faces, but uh, I'm going to stop part of the way through and um, I'll, sh I'll stop and tell you why then. Okay, and now that you've reached about this point, uh, you can kind of have completed the top portion of it. And the reason I'm stopping here for a second is because when you complete this, there won't be any flat faces. So it's actually kind of difficult to get the shape to rest on a hard, flat surface. So what I do is I just take, you know, this is just a, a towel or something folded up. And you can flip this over and place it on that for a little bit of cushioning and that allows you to uh, not have it kind of deform on a flat surface. And it's not a weak shape, it just uh, needs something cushioned to sit on because it, there are no flat faces. So anyways, so you go ahead and you put the rest of the stuff on. And there you go. That's how you build the deltoidal hexacontahedron. 
And if you're wondering why it's called that, I didn't make the name up, it's because um, there are 60 uh, deltoid faces across the surface of the whole thing. And there you go. That's how you make it. And I guess now I'm going to smash it.